Hello, friends. So it's been a long time, I have to say. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a new project. So basically, I'd like to build a web crawler. All right. And uh, in this example, I'm going to grab some movies, basically some movie data, okay, from this website called IMDB, I think it's uh, for database for movies, okay. And here, as you can see, uh, I have this uh, a list of movies, uh, I think it's produced by Sony, and uh, you can do this for almost every company you can search here. So basically, you do a search for the company, and uh, I should give you a list of movies, basically, I think the top 50, okay? So top 50 movies, but I think also you can do uh, a full list. Uh, it won't be a problem, I think, because as you can see here, you have a page. So if you go to the next page, I think the company, uh, as you can see here, the company uh, parameters here is no change. Basically, as you can see, we have another uh, parameter, maybe 51. So you can have another page with an extra page, uh, basically the second page, okay? So in this demo, so we only focus on the first page and uh, for this company and uh, grab uh, some information about the movies, okay? You have a, a profile image like this for this uh, movie and you have the title, you have a release day, a release year and you have a rating and uh, you have a description for this movie and uh, extra information you'd like to uh, basically, if you want to grab some information from this website, so you can do it in this project and uh, I will show you step by step so you can follow this video and uh, try to make something similar like this, okay? This is just an example, so you can basically grab information from other websites. I'm going to show you the process and uh, you need to improvise for your own project, okay? So let's get started. First of all, here I'd like to create a Google Sheet uh, project, all right? Because we're going to uh, grab all of this information and save it, save them to this uh, document. And uh, let's rename this file, uh, live coding 008 and INDB web crawler. Okay, so just name your file. And, uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it if you are on if you are using your, your phone or tablet. So uh, under the extensions you go to the app script and uh, maybe for some reason you cannot see this extensions menu. Maybe you are using an old version of Google Sheet, and then you should be able to find the, the script editor under the tools menu, okay? So if you cannot see these extensions, you should be able to find the script editor here under this tools menu. So for me, I uh, just open the app script, and I'm going to create a new script project, and uh, this project is uh, bind to this uh, Google Sheet. Okay, so this is a new project and uh, let's rename it. Uh, I just give a short name for Live Coding 008. So for you, uh, you're going to, you need to pick a reasonable name for this so you can understand what you're doing here, like a web crawler, something like that. All right. So project is set up. And uh, so we have few things here we need to do. Basically, the process is very uh, easy to understand, okay? Basically, we're going to use a, use a URL fetch API, okay? So basically, this API, fetch app API to, uh, basically to grab, uh, we have a URL here, right? Uh, basically, we have this API to send a get a request to this URL and uh, we're going to 
uh, get a HTML content from this website as a response, right? And we get the HTML content from this website, and as the next step, we're going to use the regular expression. Uh, basically, we're going to use this a regular expression to uh, scrap. I scrub the data, okay, from the HTML. And uh, the last step, I'm going to save data to spreadsheet. So basically, it's three steps I have to say. And the most important thing he, uh, I think is here uh, for this project. And this could be a simple step. And this one uh, is the most important step. And uh, if you don't know regular expression, I suggest you to learn something about it. Uh, I'm not very good at it, honestly, but uh, I basically know how it works and uh, how to use it. And if you don't remember um, how to use it, you can Google something like that, so you can find an answer there. So basically, you just have uh, need to know. You, you don't have to be an expert, all right? So let's get started and build this project. And uh, since this is a small project, and uh, I also need to build a class to do it. So, uh, so just to, uh, get familiar with use class, okay? So I think it's better to use class to organize your code a little bit, right? So I'm going to call this class app. You can re you can call it whatever you like. Uh, so first of all. We're going to have a constructor function here, and I like to have a app name for the const. For the constant, I have an app name here. Uh, let's say it's uh, L left coding 006, not 68. So I'm going to assign the name for this app. So by default, I'm going to use this app name here. All right, so this is the name, and I'd like to uh, give a reference to this spreadsheet, so I'm going to uh, add a spreadsheet short for SS, so I'm going to grab this spreadsheet, get active, so this is going to build the link to uh, this document here, alright, so next time if I'd like to reference this, I don't need to write spreadsheet get active and uh, like this, I, I can use something like this dot SS, so this way I'm going to use it like this, so that's why I'd like to use class, okay? So this is the uh, link to the uh, spreadsheet. And then let's create the first function to do this stuff, okay, to grab the data from this URL. So let's name this uh, get HTML content. And uh, for this, I'm going to take a URL as a parameter because we're going to Maybe for this uh, example, we're going to grab the data from Sony, all right? Maybe you have another company you'd like to uh, you'd like to use. Maybe this URL is going to be changed, all right? So, so by default, I'm going to make a test URL here, all right? Uh, the test URL we are using here. So for Sony, we use this URL. So this is test URL just for test. Uh, not a big deal, you can remove it later. And I'll pass this test URL as a default value for this URL, so we can grab the data. Okay, so we send the, so here we try to send the HTTP request, okay? So to send that, we use the URL fetch, AP, fetch app API, and I'm going to fetch the URL data, all right? And I'm going to store this in a variable called response. Basically, this is a response from this website for the for our get request, okay? And uh, I'm going to get the content from this response. And I'm going to return this content. Okay, just simple like that. And uh, in case you may have some troubles, you can do something like this. You can do this as a, you can do it as a try catch block. So for now, I'd like to keep it simple. I don't handle the errors, right? So 
this is going to return the content in HTML. So let me show you. Let's just create a, a function to test it. So to test it, we need to create a function. So const uh, we call it test function. And here we are using error functions. So you can use normal functions and no, it doesn't matter if you are using error functions or something like that. Okay. So we just create a new con instance. So const app equal to new app. So this is how uh, this is how to use a class. So you basically use it like this way. And app you can get HTML content. So here this URL is have a default value which is a test URL. So if you'd like to try some different URL, you can pass a new URL here like this. Okay, HTTP. So basically for this test, we don't need to pass anything here. And uh, const HTML content. I'd like to console log this content, okay? A log HTML content. So I'm going to test this function. Maybe I forgot to zoom in a little bit. Okay. All right. I need to approve. I need to do this authorization process as usual. So all right. So I'm going to use um, basically two APIs: the uh, Spreadsheet API and the, the basically external service that the URL URL fetch API. Okay. So let's allow. Okay, so authorization is done. And the script is running. And they, as you can see here, we got the uh, HTML document from the website. Okay, so that means we have, the, have this. Uh, the first step is done here. So let's give it a comment here. Uh, this, this function is going to get the HTML content from URL. Okay, so the parameter, only parameter here is a string, and the, the variable name is URL, is the URL of the website. And uh, I return, going to return a string, all right? the HTML content in stream. All right, so this is function, very simple function. Actually, you can do it in one line of code. So I, I just want to show you how to grab it and uh, how to implement, implement it like this way. I'm doing this in a function because for this case, it, it is very simple. But for some cases, it could be very complicated because some website may be they need the password or something like that. You cannot access it because for this website it's public, so anyone can visit it, and they don't need to do anything here. Basically, if you check this function here, you have a option here. You have another parameters you need to add. Okay, so this is where you need to configure it. Basically, different website maybe have different limitations there so this is just the function where you can uh, do more stuff here so this is about the first part okay so this one is done and uh, after we grab the HTML we like to grab the information from this HTML content okay so what we are trying to get so if you are visiting this website you open the uh, you inspect this page and uh, you should be able to, to grab the content as you can see here if you uh, move your cursor here for different uh, section here on this page so so basically uh, I think all the all the information for the movies are under this class called the list lister uh, dash list so and the, every single movie is another component in this list 
called lister item, right? So this is how we grab information from this uh, website, okay? So different website may have different structures. So this is only for IMDB. So if you are, if you are trying to gr uh, grab some information from this website, this video will help you. But uh, I'm only showing this as an example and uh, you can uh, use it for other website, but you need to write your own regular expression and uh, you, you need to know how to extract the information from this data, okay? So first of all, let's uh, copy this element, okay? If you see left side of my screen, this is highlighted. This basically this is a word information I like to check. Okay, so that's why I like to copy this element. Okay, and uh, here we have a website called one. I think it's called regular expression one o one dot com. Okay, so I think you can find a, a lot of similar website, but I found this one. Uh, it is very helpful when you're trying to test some regular expressions, okay? So I basically copy and paste this element from, uh, basically I, I copied here, right? Copied this element and uh, passed here uh, in the test stream. So basically you copy all the content from the website and then we can write our regular expressions to test here. So first of all, I'd like to grab this one this list item, uh, not this one. I'd like to grab all of these list items, right? And uh, to do that, I'd like to use this class. Uh, class, I can copy it. Copy, copy this class, right? So I put the class here. Uh, so this class. So, right now, as you can see, I got 50 matches. That means 50 movies, and I got 50 matches here, right? That means right now it's working fine. At least, uh, if you check this match match one, at least I find I I found this part. All right, that's a good start. And uh, actually, I'd like to grab all of the content in this uh, in this div class. Okay, in this div. And uh, it is like this, right? This is a start a start tag of this div, and uh, all of this content here. Uh, I think we need to add some space here. Uh, it could be the space, or I think not space because we have some new line characters here, right? It could be more than one. And uh, I think we have a close, close div here. All right, the escape could be a uh, no match. Because, uh, all right, so here as you can see, I got this div, but this is not correct. It's not correct. It's not correct because this is first and the close, uh, close tag here for this div, but this is not what I want. I want uh, a lot of stuff here, all right, all of this content I want it. So, uh, if you check. We, here, here is the end uh, I want, so I need to add another div here, right? So I make a copy of this div, and uh, between, where is my second one? So between this tab, we have some spaces here and new characters here. All right, let's add uh, uh, space. First match, and uh, I'd like to add a p tag here, and uh, some space here. Hmm. So if I check the second match, 
So right now this is second match and this is the first match and uh, this regular expression just did uh, basically find what, what I want to get, okay? I'm using this p tag because this, this is p tag here, so this is the n tag for the whole block, okay? So that's why I add a p tag here to grab the data I want. So let's copy this regular expression. And uh, actually, I'd like to to uh, I'd like to do a regular expression constant here, so we can write all of our expressions here. All right. So for this one, uh, this regular expression is going to find all the item, lister item, right? Lister item. So I'd like to use this name because it was going to be, it was going to use it for us to understand uh, what is this. Uh, so Lister item regular expression, and uh, let's put this here, and uh, give it uh, ignore the case. Okay, and the global. So this is a modifier. If you don't know, here is a modifier. And I like to apply the multiplying the m, and this i is going to ignore the case. So I'm not very good at the regular expression, but uh, you need to find it. You should find a tutorial and to learn a little bit about it so you can understand it. So this is the regular expression I'm going to use. So first one, I'd like to build a function to get the list of items. Okay, so let's do it. So let's. Uh, get lister items and here we're going to have the HTML content right uh, content and uh, for this function so we're going to get the lister items from the HTML content so this is a function and uh, the parameters here uh, we have a string which is the HTML content, the HTML content, and uh, return. We're going to return an array, okay. Basically, an array of list or string of array. Basically, an uh, array of strings, okay. Uh, an array of Lister item, list items, and I hope I described this function clearly. So let's do it right now. So we can use I think uh, const uh, matches. So basically, it's going to find all the matches. A match. So this is HTML content. I'm going to use a regular expression to match. So I'm going to use this listener item regular expression to find all the matches from this HTML content and then let's do a console dot log matches number one and number zero which is the first one so let's try to test it and how to test it uh, I grab the HTML content and uh, const list uh, items get list items lister items equal to so this function you can record like this way you can you need to use app dot get list items right and uh, the content we're going to be this HTML content we just grab it from this website right and uh, I'm going to load the first one first to test it so let's try to run this test hmm so as you can see here we got the first one, and uh, we got the first one, which is uh, where is my title? I'd like to find the title. So let's check this website. If I inspect on this element, so if I do a search for this word here, I should be able to see the result. So basically, as you can see, uh, we got this message, okay? So this is a list uh, list item, we just grabbed it. So this is just the first one. And the next step, as you can see, we can grab the information from this list item.
So basically, so first of all, let's try to grab this image. Okay. So how can we do that? And let's inspect on this. All right. You see the image. And uh, we also can try to use. Uh, hmm. Is there is any class I can use? Don't know. So maybe we can use this. We can grab it from this a, a tag, okay? And uh, let's. So basically, I think you can have uh, multiple ways to do that, or you can use this. I can grab this div, okay? Let's try to grab this div, and uh, I like to copy this this. Uh, This class, just like what uh, just like uh, what we did for. So this is a div and the class. So as you can see, we just grab. So basically, we are using these similar uh, regular expressions, except that we are using different class. Okay, so let's copy this and uh, change this p to div. And as you can see here, so this regular expression is going to find this div, right? And in this div, we have an image tag. If you can check, this is the image tag, right? And then you have the source. This source is our image URL, right? We only need to grab this uh, source. So let's do it. So let's copy this uh, regular expression. And uh, do it here. What is this one? Let's name it. Uh, what is this class? Uh, list item image. So, lister image item image. Oops. So, global multiplying. Ignore the case. All right, so this one, this regular expression is going to find the image for us. So let's create another function to do that. So get a lister item image URL. All right, we're got, we're getting the URL, the source file, uh, the source of this image, and I'm going to pass uh, HTML content. All right, uh, let's copy of this. So let's say we are get the list uh, item image URL from HTML content uh, string. We're going to return a URL, okay? Uh, the URL of image HTML content, okay? So uh, here for this one, we're going to return. All of these matches, okay. The matches is going to be list of items here. And here, uh, let's use this function and uh, the matches. And I'm going to change this to listener item image. And I'm going to return the first one because we're going to match only one item, right? So this, this we're going to grab the movie, uh, grab, grab the image URL. No, actually not the URL. I'm going to grab. Uh, I think we're going to grab the the whole div, okay? And uh, we're going to find we're going to define another function to grab the source uh, URL, okay? You can do it uh, with multiple ways. So I think the simplest way is to uh, let's try to. Split the string, okay, with this source, right? Let's do it like this way. So you basically, uh, I'm going to split, split it with a source, source, and quote. So this is going to split the the div, okay? Going to split this into two parts. 
So the first part, we don't need it. And the next part, we're going to grab the URL. And the next part, the index is, uh, is 1, right? And I'm going to split again with the uh, quote. So if you check this URL, this is a quote, right? We split it with the quote, and I'm going to grab the first part. So this is going to be the URL. OK, so this is a function to grab the URL. So let's create another function here. Uh, let's say this function, uh, let's call it get movies. Get movies uh, for company, company, and uh, we're going to have a URL. Basically, this is the URL for the company, okay? And there may be a company name, uh, which is Sony by default. And this URL by default is the, the test URL, which is Sony, right? We have the URL, we have the company. And let's try to, first step, let's get the list items. So lister items equal to this dot get lister items, right? So this is going to get all the lister items. And uh, I'd like to create an array called movies. And uh, I'd like to get all the images. So const images equal to. Uh, basically, I'm going to loop through these list items. Okay, for each uh, for each lister item. So this list item uh, is actually is the content here. Okay. We grab it from here and uh, we're going to grab the image from that URL and uh, const image equal to this dot get uh, where is my image get item image URL, URL okay get list item image URL and now we need to pass the content the content is going to be the listener item okay and this is going to grab the image. And uh, let's get rid of this one. So here, I'd like to push array of, uh, of content here to this movie. Uh, the better way to do it is like something like this. So let's do it like this. Uh, for Let's make an object called movie. Okay, so I'm going to say movie dot uh, movie image. All right, so this is going to assign to the movie for this. Uh, so for now, we only grab the movie, the image for this movie. So let's check what, what it looks like. And, uh, and uh, let's push. So movie dot push so push is just movie okay basically you have this list item you're going to have 50 uh, movies so this object is basically because there it's in this loop so it's going to have 50 movies and I'm going to push them one by one and finally let's console log let's load these movies so let's check if this is working or not and here we don't need to have this and we're going to app dot get a company get movies for company so just to run this function here for this test so let's try to run the, this function hmm match of undefined 47 listener item okay uh, something's not correct get list items HTML content Okay, so I forgot something. So first of all, I like to get the uh, HTML 
content from the website, right? Base.get HTML content from this URL. So I forgot this step. And then we pass this HTML content here. And uh, from this HTML content, we grab the lister, uh, lister items, right? So mistake here. So let's try to run this again. So uh, that's weird, but it is the same. What's going on? Why, why is the same address? It's weird. I, I grabbed something wrong, I, I believe. Let's check what is this image. OK, so this is not the image we are trying to find. That's, but this is a, actually an image, but it looks like a placeholder. Placeholder image. Mm -hmm. uh, OK, what's going on here? So basically, in this, maybe we have two sources, I think. Let's try to search this source. That's weird. What image we got from? This is pretty strange. I didn't find this one. Uh, that's weird. It's super weird. Why well, I got an image like this? Uh, okay. So in this image, we have a uh, source. Okay, we, we grab this source image, but uh, the actual image should be in this loaded. This loaded, I think. So if I grab this image, uh, where is the end of the image? I mean, is this JPEG? So let's try to do it like this. Okay, so this is the image we're trying to grab. Okay, so basically, I need to use this load late uh, to replace uh, something here. So basically, that's what I trying to uh, trying to mention here. You need to improvise because every website could be different. So so here. I'm actually not the source. I'm going to grab the data from this uh, load late. Load late. Maybe the placeholder is load first and this load late. I don't know. So let's try to run this test again. Hmm. So this time, as you can see, uh, I think we, I, we, we grab the correct image. Uh, different IDs. Okay, so this is a way we grab the image. All right, so here we have a function to grab the image. So what if I'd like to grab the title? Right, so you can create a function to get, uh, actually, if we check the, the, the content here, so this is a three part. So this part is uh, for for every single lister a uh, lister item you have a lister top right you have a lister item image right and then you have a lister item content so in this lister content item content you have a lot of information so i'd like to create another regular expression to to find the content, uh, list item content here. So let's do it like this. Div class dot let me escape this div. No match. Okay. So this is the lister item content. So let's uh, make a copy of this code. Rating bar. Not sure. So where is my regular expression? Let's add it here. Uh, lister item 
content GMI. So this is going to grab. I'm not sure if it grab all the content I'd like to use. Uh, at least I have the I have the title here, right? Have the title, and I have the year. But there is no description. Uh, let's find the next one. So maybe it's better to add an A tag here so we can grab all the. Hmm. So I think I need to grab at that. Not this one. If I add uh, ender tag like this, let's try to add like this. Add some space here. So 49, that's weird. 50. So let's try to grab the title from this. So just to give you an example here. And I think this regular expression should find the the title. So here we have the title. Where is the title? First one. This is the title here, right? So let's get the content. Let's create a function to get the content. That list the item. And uh, get list item content. HTML content and the cost matches equal to HTML content match regular expression so cost content equal to matches zero because we're going to get the first item and here we need to grab the title uh, for the title, we can have another regular expression. So we can use this as a regular expression. Okay, so let's try to do it like this. So let's copy this, and uh, this is a anchor tag. So let's end with a. So as you can see here, this way we can grab this uh, a tag. Okay, so this is for the title. Let's create this regular expression here. So let's say title. Mm, this is for the title GMI. And uh, since this is content, we only need to get the title. So const title equal to uh, content match. I'm going to match this regular expression title. So basically, I'm going to use this title regular expression to find the content, find the title from this content. But this this regular expression is going to match this part. So this is not actually the title. We'd like to grab the, the inner context okay, from this tag. So let's create a function to do that. Uh, get inner HTML, get the inner content. So here I'm going to have uh, HTML content. Uh, and uh, if you check this content here, we have a start anchor here, and then we have an end. So basically, we're going to slice the content from here to here, right? So Let's get let's const make a const called uh, start start index equal to uh, HTML content dot index of this is the start place right and then we have a end index end index we're going to be last index of so this is the end 
this is the end, right? I'm going to return HTML content slice. We start from this one, but we don't need to include this character. So we'd like to class one here. And uh, for the end position, which is the, this end position, but this end position is not included. So this is going to return the, the content uh, between these two tags. Okay, so basically this is going to grab this title for us. So let's try to use this function, get inner content. And let's try to HTML content, make it clear. Uh, the here, so here is the content, here is the title we found. I'd like to call this function, get uh, HTML, get inner, hmm. get this get inner HTML content, and this is the match content, and uh, zero, the first one. So this is the title, and uh, I'd like to return because we have a, we have a title here, right? Maybe we'd like to grab the year, and then we can return the year. And is it for the year? Uh, it's very similar, and uh, we're going to build this year regular expression. So regular expression year, which is right now is not defined. So let's try to find uh, the regular expression. Where is my regular expression? So let's make a copy of this and rename this as year. Okay, so year, if you want to grab the year, and uh, for this year, which is the span, and have a class like this. So let's copy this, and this is a span, and this is going to find the year, right? So this is the a regular expression. So let's copy this regular expression and uh, let's replace. And this regular expression is going to find the year. And in our function here, we already uh, used this year regular expression and this should find the year. So right now, so as you can see here, this is how you uh, find the information you want to get. Basically, you define your regular expression and you get the content from this list listener item content, okay? Then the here we return the title and then we return the year. So uh, basically more uh, items can be added here, right? So get item, list item content. So this function, where should we call this function uh, for the, get okay, so, so here in this loop, we have a movie object as you can see here, we have a. We need to define const lister item content equal to this dot get lister item of the image content, and this content should be this. Actually, I'd like to rename this a little bit so you can. I understand it. List item content. So basically, this is list. This is list item content. So this this function only get the image, but this function we're going to get the title and the year for now. Okay, so you can add more. So here we can destructure this object title year like this. So if you have more information like rating. Uh, you can add later, so I'm not going to do it in this video. So basically, I'm here. To, I'm doing this here. It's just to show you example. Okay, so I'm get, grab the title and grab the year, and for this movie, as you can see, and movie. Uh, let's do it like this way. So let's grab this cost uh, image equal to this image, and uh, let's get rid of this movie. And uh, let's movies or push. So I'm going to push uh, an object, with basically object with uh, with a title, right? And uh, with a year, and uh, with an image. So let's try to run this test again. And uh, 
if there is no issue, I should be able to find three uh, properties for this movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a typo here, as you can see. Uh, copy if you can, or you have a typo, at least for me. Okay, so let's try to, to do this test again. Hmm. Title not found. That's weird. Get inner HTML. Let's try to do console log here. Okay, so this is the matches. Let's console log this content. Regular expression title. Let's check what's going on here. Here I should have this matched. Not sure what's going on. So let's copy the content. And uh, also you need to copy your regular expression for this title. So in this way you can check if this is working or not. Okay. Hmm. It so looks like there is no match. So it's no match. I think it's because here you have a, a new line character here, right? So let's try to add a new line character. So in this way, um, maybe for sometimes it could have a new line character or sometimes not have a new line character. So let's update our regular expression here. That's uh, Update it and let's try to do it again. Okay, so this time it looks like it's working pretty good. Right? We have title, we have year, we have image. Okay, so this is the second step. I only show you uh, three properties for this movie, but you can grab all of them, I think. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to stop it here. So this is for the second step, so it's done. And let's try to do the last step. So after we get all of, all of this information, right? So we got a, a list of movies. And uh, let's const movie, let's say values, two. Uh, values. Basically, this value is going to be the values we'd like to export to a Google a Google Sheet. All right. So let's try to array, and uh, basically you can do it like this. So this movie is also an array. So let's do a map function to map the movie to the content we like. So we have a movie. So you remember this movie we have uh, we have uh, three properties movie dot title right and movie dot uh, year and movie dot URL or your image and uh, if you'd like to show a profile image you can do it like this You can put a formula here called image and just place the movie.image here like this. So this array we have four columns, okay, title, year, image. So this is the image uh, with a picture and this is the URL for this image. So this is the values and I'd like to uh, add a header for this image. So the header will going to be title. So as you can see, year and uh, image. And the last one is image URL, right? So, so this part, it could be a little bit, uh, so basically you can output the content whatever you like. So basically if you, if you don't like the orders, if you want to put the year here, you can change the order of this element in this array, right? And if you have more components, 
or properties for this movie grabbed from the website, you push it here in this object, right? And you can output it here like this. So let's say we can do it like this. So let's do a function here called uh, values to shoot. And we have values and then we have a shoot name. So, so first of all, we'd like to check if this output shoot name is uh, exist or not. So, so const uh, worksheet equal to this spreadsheet and get shoot by name. So this is uh, the shoot name here. And uh, so basically this shoot name could be there or not. So if it's not there, I'm going to insert a new one. Uh, all right, so this is going to make sure we always have a sheet uh, in the spreadsheet and with a name, okay? So this is our output spreadsheet and I'm going to clear the content. All right, so I'm going to grab the gather range, start from the first cell, one, one, and number of rows is going to be values for the lens. Not a listen, just what the heck is that? values dot lens and uh, values the column is going to be values first element or lens which is the header first element okay and I'm going to set the values and uh, going to be the values and lastly we're going to activate this uh, spreadsheet so this function is going to uh, export the values to the tab okay so here I'm going to call this function after we uh, we grab all of these values and then we add a header to these values and finally let's call this function called uh, values to sheet and uh, values the, the name the sheet name going to be company name so uh, in this way let's try to get rid of the log one log there is no more log Okay, so if I try to run this test function, hmm, number of columns in the data does not match that number. Number has zero, the data has zero, but the range has four. So this is the output issue. That values, values. That's weird. Let's try to check what's going on here. Values. Let's console.log the values here to see what the value is that. Okay, so problems here undefined. So movies is an array, okay, uh, we have a movie, okay, we need to return, okay, we need to return this array, okay, or I'm going to have undefined, so that's why it's weird, oops, and uh, if I check my spreadsheet, you can see we have a tab for Sony, and then you grab the information from the and uh, if you check this this is looks like a little weird because uh, she was converted to a number but you can you can do it like this you can I think you can uh, change the format uh, where is the format hmm. From the percentage, I think you need to change it to text. Or, or can I change the format? And uh, if I do this test again, let's check this time. Okay, so now you have the correct data, and then you have the image, and then you have the URL. All right, so. 
that's how you uh, scrap data from this website. And uh, maybe one final, uh, final step I'd like to share. Uh, what if we have a list of company, right? So let's do it like this. So we have a company and then we have a URL. Let's say this is for Sony, right? Sony. And uh, let's say we have another company. Let's just search for Netflix. No. Okay. Netflix. So let's grab this URL. Copy this and uh, put it here. And this is Netflix. So you can have a list of companies. Let's say this is companies. Companies. Grab this value, and let's define it here. Const shit name. Companies. Companies. So we have a tab called companies, and uh, we can define another function. And uh, this function we're going to do, and uh, let's say update all companies. So, so this function is going to update all companies, right? So to do that, Let's const uh, work should equal to this get ship by name ship name companies. So this is going to grab the company tab, companies tab, okay, and I get the data. So let's give some space here. Uh, const values is going to be work should get data range, get values, maybe get display values. So this is going to grab all the company data and uh, values. Actually, I'm going to slice one, slice from one because we need to get, get rid of the header. So values for each. So the first, the first element here is the company name, right? So let's destructure this array company name and the url and uh, here i'm going to call this function call get movies for company get movies for company and i'm going to pass in url and company name here And this function is going to update a list of functions, a list of, uh, so basically all the items you put it here, all the companies you put it here. So, and uh, the only function here, const update companies equal to the array function. And uh, let's do it like new app, hmm. dot update all companies. So this is the only function here. And I like to create the menu. So const uh, the menu is going to be on open function. With the array function, you should do it like this way. So spread shape I'll get, get the UI. And uh, let's create the menu with the app name. And the add item here as the update. Update movies and uh, pass the function name here called update all companies. Finally, add UI. So 
I think that's almost it. And uh, let's try to validate if this function is working fine. Update movies. Sony, Netflix. Okay, so uh, I think that's the end of this video. And uh, so I think you can learn basically the the process to do a web web crawler like this. So it, I think the most in, most important part is this part. Uh, it's about the regular expression, and uh, you need to at least you need to know how to use it and uh, how to how to find the content you'd like to find uh, from a graph message like this. Okay, graph message like this is it's very difficult to parse. So this is a very good tool. And uh, actually, honestly, I'm not very good at this part. So that's why I spent uh, in this video, as you can see, I made some mistakes. But um, it doesn't matter. It's, you, you only need to do some practice. And But this, this kind of stuff, it is very difficult to remember, I have to say. So that's it for this video. And I hope you can learn a little bit from this video. And uh, bye bye then. And I'll see you in the next one.